the backstretch headed for turn number three. This time around, he'll see the white flag from Carl Simmons, and there'll be one more circuit to go. Here he is. White flag is waving and a spin by Jeff Gordon and Ricky Craven. They've come together in turn number one, and this race is going to end under caution. And Joe, Ooh, and Jack Jack. oh my gosh! <laughs> Look, Martha, she found out a heart attack. Oh, sit down, girl. <laughs> He came so close, he had to get on the brakes, and the car almost got out from under him. He almost made contact with Ricky Craven, whose car is stopped up in turn number one. But here he comes down the main straightaway, and the checkered flag falls for Joe Nemechek. He wins the Kroger 200 in dramatic style. We thought it was going to be a boring ending, and there ain't no way. There's Mark. Look at him. Is she happy or what? <laughs> Mom Martha and the rest of the crew celebrating the first win of the season and the very first win ever in Grand National competition for Joe Nemechek. That's the dinner bell. Here they come. Earnhardt back on the inside. White flags out. This is the last lap. That would have been a dead heat. Would have been a... Now, right here before, Nemechek was able to get away from him, pulling down this back straightaway. See if he can do it again. Back straight away, Earnhardt pulls away. Nemechek's going to be right with him entering turn three. It's going to be right to the wire, I'm telling you. Nemechek up high, Earnhardt down lower. He's been strong, scoots away. Now, does Nemechek have the power, and can he get it down? Off of this corner is where Nemechek's really made a run. Here he comes to the wire. He's going to beat him to the line. He's going to win it. Go Nemechek. <laughs> Picks up the victory, win two, and for fourth place behind Todd Bodine, Jeff Gordon holds off Kenny Schrader and Bobby Labonte. Is around the high side slowly. White flag. Kenny Wallace in second. The battling will be back behind them. Elton Sawyer, Tracy, or rather Hermie Sather just got past Terry Labonte. Who battled back there for fifth spot. Here's the race leader. Hermie does it, you know, every week he does that. He finds himself in the in the thick of things, and he's able to take pretty good advantage of it. He does a, he does a pretty good job of finding his way to the top five. Checkered flag for Joe Nemechek, third career victory. One lap to go. In the hand of faith that has been so cruel to the Nemechek family. Probably to the Cedawan, who has spun. White flag is out, and now they'll race to the checker no matter what. And, and there's more trouble up in turn three and four. Or someone lost an engine or something. Setzer in the wall. Setzer in the fence. They'll have to come to the checkered flag. As the hand of fate brings the yellow flag out, Nemechek comes into dark territory. LaJoy closes even further as they slide through turn three. Setzer gets running on the brakes of Nemechek. Here comes LaJoy. Down to the track apron. A drag race around the left car. And Joe Nemechek will win it. feet from the start finish line his mom Martha watches as the white flag waves they're on the last lap he'll take her right back down to the inside again like he's been doing all day long Jeff Purvis hoping Mark Martin is close enough to give him a run on the outside as they go down that back straight away toward turn three and if they're going to make a move, they better hurry up. They're running out of real estate. Yeah, coming off of turn four will be too late. they got to do it going into turn three, and I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Nemechek's got a fast race car. Joe Nemechek from Lakeland, Florida, drops it right down on the apron of the racetrack. Jeff Purvis, Mark Martin in line as they come off turn four. Randy LaJoy looks to the bottom, but Joe Nemechek will score his sixth Bush Series career victory. That's his mother, Martha. Nobody has a greater fan 
than Joe Nemechek and his mother. Boy, she just, every lap, she's always out there cheering him on. Whatever happens to Mike here is pretty much going to be dictated to Come on, Joe. Sit on, buddy. Mark him a little bit. Get down. Stop the battle. Still looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nothing there. White flag waved a moment ago by Carl Simmons. Now it's you and a throttle. And a spotter to guide you less than two miles from the checker flag. No, mind. you got two car lengths. Oh, that calls. Entering turn three. 34-year-old Joe Nemechek on the bottom of the racetrack. Here comes Phil Parson. Three car lengths. They get two car lengths. They head to the trial of McLaughlin trying to push Parson. Just shot him, buddy. Just shot him. Start finish line. Nemechek will take the victory. Parsons in second. McLaughlin is third. Buckshot going fourth. Pace car is headed to Skip Road. Ward Burton says he's going to get on the gas now. Was it too early? Did he jump the restart? We'll find out in a minute. Green flag, three laps to go. Nemechek try to catch up to him into turn one. Ward got a really good jump on it. Did he jump too quick is the question, but... Uh, Jimmy Spencer's car, and here comes Dale Jr. up behind Spencer. Ward Burton is going to be black flagged for jumping the restart. Burton is going to be black flagged for jumping the restart. He's going to have to come to pit road and answer the penalty. Nemechek will be the leader, second car on the screen. There's a mark on the outside wall that you're not supposed to restart before. Ward was on that gas awful early. It's going to cost him as he gets the black flag at the start-finish line. Boy, you talk about a heartbreaker there. You're just a little bit too intense. You want to go, you want to go, and you know, here's one. Off of turn two and up the back straightaway. Two laps to go. Go back to Joe Nemechek saying, hey, I got a great car here. Even though it was two tires. It's going to be interesting if Ward has to pit here. What is the rule there? How many laps does he have to honor the black flag, or has he got to do it right away? You don't get any laps to honor the black flag. Once the black flag is put out, you are under penalty. White flag is in the air. Here comes Earnhardt Jr. around Spencer. Ward Burton pulls over in turn one. Here comes Joe Nemechek underneath him on the last lap. Boy, Allen's a dramatic finish there. Ward Burton is going to be black flagged anyway. He's not going to finish there. That pass was almost academic, but it'll be Nemechek off of turn four. After Burton makes a mistake on the final restop to the line, checkered flag, second win at Homestead, Joe Nemechek wins the 300 this afternoon. in this one. Well, I tell you, we went from the middle stages of a race that just seemed like it was going to be a lull or to us. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was going to dominate it. To a major crash with 10 to go. To jump to a restart. White flag. Joe Nemechek will lead him down. We are one lap away from the conclusion of the Touchstone Energy 300. Who will it be? Seven cars. And then four tenths of a second led by the veteran Joe Nemechek. It is Chevrolet, Pontiac, and Chevrolet. Nemechek, Jones, Hamilton, Hubbard. Purvis back there in four spot. Purvis takes it to the outside. Hut Strickland is there in the 61 car. Oh, Buckshot's now got cars behind him, side by side. He probably needs one of those cars to push him by. Nemechek, he just doesn't have any help right now. There are half a mile flag. Here comes Nemechek. Here comes Buckshot Jones. They're side by side for turn one. And third place. I'm going to wait for the photograph. It was that close at Talladega. And the computers are saying Hamilton Jr. over Purvis for third. We'll wait and see exactly at the line how NASCAR will call they've been, it. They've been all over each other, but... Uh...
to no avail. White flag for Joni Macek. Looking for oh. his first win since Talladega last April. Todd Morai up in the middle of three and four. He's going to make it around and finish this race as Nemechek heads off in the corner on his final lap. We stay green. In his 195th Bush Series start, Joe Nemechek picks up his 10th Series victory. Looking for Greg Biffle. He's somewhere back there. There he is. Second place car. Bodine was third. And they're coming to the Michael white Walter. flag. There's Elton. Lap car of Todd Bodine separating the top two. And we're on the final lap of the NASCAR Bush Series season. Still an even one second from Nemechek back to Elton Sawyer. For Sawyer, it's going to be a great day. Team meeting sponsorship for next season. Uncertain plans for them. They're going to cap their 2001 with a runner-up finish. But it will be one place short. Final corner and he's good to go. Second home, flag buddy. is up. Bring it home. Give Joe the victory lap, buddy. Give Joe the victory lap. Third win at Homestead for Joe Nemechek as Greg this thing home in first place. What I'm worried about is the 37 car. He seems to be the wild card. He wants to do something. He wants to move. So I think he's going to be the wild card in this whole thing. And he's got the teammate, McMurray, in the 27. If McMurray can get to him to help. Green flag, two laps to go. See Joe Nemechek bring him right around the bottom. He wants to keep it against that out-of-bounds line. If they're going to go around him, they're going to have to do it on the high side. Well, and to get a run on those guys, you've got to fall back a little bit and let them get out there so you can draft up on him. Nose to tail like this, it's going to be hard to do anything. Eight car breakaway at the front. Protect that yellow line. We saw this at Talladega with Mike McLaughlin riding right around on the yellow line. You can't go below it, so if you're going to go around, you got to go around the outside. And so far, he's been against it all the way around this racetrack. He'll don't come to get the white flag. Don't want to leave that bottom open. I just don't, you know, I think it's smart money is hold what you got. Cam McLaughlin and Spencer get something going. They are seventh and eighth at the tail end of this draft. Looks white like flag. That 60 car wants to push off the corner a little bit, Larry. He kind of comes up off the bottom. You better watch doing that. He'd been complaining about his car pushing when he was directly behind the car. We heard him talk about trying to get his left front corner out and get some air on Make a turn. Spencer's losing the draft. It may be a seven-car shootout. I think what Spencer was trying to do was get back and get that run I'm talking about, but he may have gotten back too far, and he's not really going to help himself all that much. Just as soon as Joe Nemechek came off turn two, right to the bottom of the racetrack, right against that out-of-bounds yeah. line. And, and Nemechek, I mean, he's the, he's the man. And the only thing they can do is you saw Biffle fall back a little bit, trying to get a run on him. That's going to help Biffle. He's got a run on him. Nemechek's going to block the bottom. Nobody can go anywhere. Here they come to the line. Pretty clean, pretty clean finish. 14th Daytona starts. Second victory for Joe Nemechek. And his first win in eight starts in 2002. And he's the first driver to win from the pole at Daytona since this became the Bush Series in 1982. He definitely had the hot rod tonight. Nobody was going to mess with him. He led 78 of 100 laps. Biffle finishes second and takes the point lead. LePage third, Keller fourth, McMurray fifth. We'll be right back. Feeling much better and hope he gets well and gets back to the track soon. Longtime ISC and NASCAR official. Joe Nemechek takes the checkered flag ahead of Scott Riggs and Shane Meal for Meal best career finish third place and for Nemechek his 14th career Bush series victory Riggs giving it all he's got but he's going to come up with another top three finish Boy, he's trying. He's trying, he's trying every way he can. He has poured that thing down in there the last couple of laps, but it just won't quite stick for him. Vickers goes by the 25. That's fifth place. 
And here it is for the money off turn four. Joe Nemechek picks up his third Bush Series win of the year. Happy birthday to me! <laughs> 15 Bush Series win of Joe Nemechek's career. Here we go. Here we go. Final two laps, one attempt. Nemechek followed by Biffle down the back stretch. Really good restart by Nemechek. Especially under the conditions. You have to wonder, you know, what the suspension feels like in that car. All right, here we go. Wide flag this time by, but here comes Biffle trying to close in. Joe's definitely going to make it work for it if he does get to him. I can promise that. Last lap. Biffle starts to close in. Right about where Nemechek did on Stewart. Here he goes on the inside. He's got the position. Remember, though, he's tried this before. Nemechek drives in hard on the outside. Oh, baby. It's a drag race. Nemechek to the outside. Biffle to the inside. Joe Nemechek oh. wins at Kansas. Sturmy came home third. Just what you said, BP came back on the outside. Yeah. Got